A murder mystery tonight in Tarpon Springs. Now at 6, why people who knew the man killed tells us they're surprised by this crime. Good evening, I'm Brendan McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, shock at a Tarpon Springs apartment complex. Police say a 73-year-old man was found dead this morning, and it appears he was murdered. Let's get right out to our Ryan Raish outside the apartment. Ryan, what can you tell us? Well, Wendy, a crime scene investigators have been here throughout the day. They've wrapped up really within the last hour. I want to step out of the way so you can see the apartment. This is where the victim, Eddie Dixon, lived. It's going to take some time for neighbors to get used to seeing that empty chair on the front porch. It's very sad. And I wish whoever did it, I hope they got him. In an apartment complex littered with crime scene tape and fingerprint dust, the apparent murder of Eddie Dixon has barely set in. He sits right there in the front of his yard and everybody just come to him. The Tarpon Springs Police Department says around 8 this morning, Eddie's caretaker found him dead in his apartment. Detectives won't say how he died, but call it suspicious. That, that question is going through my head. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Like I said, he didn't mess with nobody. Patsy Vilsane routinely took care of the 73-year-old by cooking him meals and helping out around the house. She describes him as friendly and genuine. If you need anything, you can just go to him and ask him. No problem, he would give it to you. At least for now, his death is a mystery. Some here suspect whoever killed him did it because they knew he was physically weak. For a man like that to go like that, sad. Here today and gone tomorrow. God bless him, though. Now, the family was out here earlier today, but they are too upset to talk to the media. You know, one other thing to point out here, this is public housing, and there are cameras posted around the complex here. Neighbors hope that might lead to a speedy arrest. Live tonight in Topper Springs, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. Thank you.